today's video we are going to give a solution for the most important problem from random variables and distribution functions see here the problem is very clear on the screen a random variable x is defined as the sum of the numbers on the faces when two dice are thrown find the mean of x see here sum of the numbers on the faces means for getting two as a sum when two dice are thrown the first die shows one and the second die shows one so if i add up the sum on the faces is 2 here. So the chances for getting 2 on the face is when 2 dice are thrown, the chances here is 1. So this is 1 by 36. See for getting 3 on the face, for getting 3, sum of the number on the faces as 3. So for getting 3, so while using 2 dice, the chances here are 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. So if you add 2 plus 1 or 1 plus 2, we will be getting 3. And here there are 2 chances here. And for getting 4 on the face, when 2 dice are thrown, the sum of the numbers on the faces is 4. This is the chances here are 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1, 2 comma 2. And they are 3 chances. And for getting 5, when two dice are thrown, as sum as 5 is 1, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 3, 2. And total they are 4 chances. And for getting 6 on the face, when two dice are thrown, for getting 6 as a sum, that is 1, 5, 5, 1, 2, 4, 4, 2 and 3, 3. And total they are 5 chances. And for getting 7 as a sum, when two dice are thrown, this is 1, 6, 6, 1, 2, 5, 5, 2, 3, 4 and see here 4, 3. So, there are total 6 chances. And for getting 8, when 2 dice are thrown, the sum as 8 is 266, 6, 2, 3, 5, 5, 3 and 4, 4. And total there are 5 chances. And for getting 9 as a sum, when 2 dice are thrown is 3, 6, 6, 3, 4, 5 and 5, 4. They are 4 chances. And for getting 10 as a sum, when 2 dice are thrown, this is 4, 6, 6, 4 and 5, 5. They are total 3 chances. And for getting 11 as a total sum, when 2 dice are thrown, that is 5, 6 and 6, 5. And there are only 2 possibilities. And for getting 12 as a sum, using 2 dice, so there is only 1 chance here. So these are all the chances of getting sum of the numbers on the faces. See here, now when two dice are thrown, the total outcomes here, the total outcomes is a 6 by 6, that is 36. For getting 2 as a total, this is 1 by 36, 2 by 36, 3 by 36, 4 by 36. I have taken all these from 1 by 36, 2 by 36, 3 by 36, 4 by 36, 5 by 36, 6 by 36. And again 5 by 36, 4 by 36, 3 by 36, 2 by 36 and 1 by 36. So, this is the probability distribution function. To find the sum of the numbers on the faces. So now we have to find the mean mu. Now for finding the mean mu. The formula here is also very simple. That is a sigma pi into xi. See here. Now we have to multiply each and every term. That is 2 into 1 by 36. And next 3 into this is 2 by 36. And next 4 into, see here, 4 into, this is 3 by 36. And next 5 into, this is 4 by 36. And next 6 into, 5 by 36. And next 7 into, this is a 6 by 36. And next 8 into, this is 5 by 36. And next 9 into, this is 4 by 36. And next 10 into, this value is 3 by 36. And 11 into this is 2 by 36 and 12 into this is 1 by 36. So if I multiply, see what happens here. The mu value will be this is 2 by 36. This is a 6 by 36 and this is 4 3 zer. The value here is 12 by 36 and next one 5 4 zer. The value here is 20 by 36 and here 6 5 zer 30 by 36 and next 42 by 36 and next 8 5 is a 40 by 36 plus 9 4 zer the value here is 36 by 36 and 10 3 zer that is 30 by 36 and 11 2 zer the value here is 22 by 36 and next one this is 12 by 36 so if i take 1 by 36 common then this will be 2 plus 6 plus 12 plus 20 plus 30 
plus 42 plus 40 plus again 36 plus 30 plus 22 plus 12 and see this value will be 252 by 36 and value mu the mu value is nothing but 7 so this is how we have to find the mean value that is 7 and this is also very very important see here a random variable x is defined as the sum of the numbers on the faces see sum of the numbers on the faces means so we have to get 2 on the face where when 2 dice are thrown the sum should be equal to 2 with two dice using the two dice so on the first die it should be one and the second die it should be one so the total is two so the sum of the numbers on the faces is also very clear for getting three four five it's very clear these are all the possibilities and this is the distribution table and this is how we have to find out the mean the mean is also very very easy to find out thank you so much for watching and i will be uploading many more problems please have a look at those please subscribe to this channel and pass it on to your friends